Carrying guns on a consistent basis year round probably means that your gun and holster system are being consistently exposed to sweat, dirt, dust, and skin cells. Need I go on? So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of holster maintenance and walk you through a basic checklist for what you should be doing to maintain the integrity and cleanliness of your holster system. First, we'll talk about Enigma maintenance and then standalone holster maintenance. Feel free to refer to the timestamps for your specific use case. The first thing you wanna check on your Enigma is your screws. Check the screws that attach your belt and belt buckle, and then check the screws that hold the faceplate to the holster to make sure that they have not loosened. If they have loosened, tighten them back up to snug. If you do notice a particular screw is consistently coming loose, we recommend that you remove it and reapply Vibratite VC3 thread locker. If you're using a floodlight or a city special, you're gonna wanna check the retention screws and make sure that they have not loosened. Next, we'll check for material wear and damage. Check the holster shell for cracks, check the belt for cuts, and check the faceplate for severe abrasion or fraying. Note that all of these conditions are exceptionally rare and are usually caused by misuse. We recommend specifically checking around the trigger guard for creasing in the holster material, as this is where most of the force is placed on most holsters. Early signs of a potential crack in your holster can look like a lighter color line in the material. Finally, ensure your faceplate is not beginning to crease heavily or delaminate. Delamination, again, is exceedingly rare and usually only possible when the material is cut, but nonetheless, it's something to keep an eye out for. If your faceplate has creasing that looks like this, you can contact our customer service for further guidance. If your belt or holster is dirty, you can wash them with dish soap and warm water. Just be sure to dry the inside and outside of your holster shell before using it to carry a gun again to avoid resting your pistol. Keeping the interior of your holster clean will help reduce dust and lint on your gun, while keeping the exterior clean will help to protect your skin health. Next, let's talk about how we can maintain standalone holsters. First, check all the screws to make sure that they haven't come loose and attempt to wiggle the belt clips to verify that the screws are tightened correctly. If the screws are properly tightened, the clips shouldn't move. If you're using a floodlight or a city special, check the retention screws and make sure that they have not loosened. Next, check the holster shell and clips for any obvious damage, deformation, or cracking. We recommend specifically checking around the trigger guard for creasing in the holster material, as this is where most of the force is placed on most holsters. Early signs of a potential crack can look like a lighter colored line in the material. If your holster is dirty, you can wash it with dish soap and warm water. Just make sure that you dry off the inside and outside of your holster shell before using it to carry a gun again to avoid resting your pistol. For more guidance on long-term holster maintenance, you can download our printable holster maintenance checklist available in the link down in the description. If you purchased your holster or your Enigma through Filster Holsters and you would like to offer some feedback on that purchase, please go to our website and consider leaving a review.